Welcome to Biophilia, the love for nature in all her manifestations. From the tiniest organism to the greatest red giant floating in the farthest realm of the universe. With Biophilia comes a restless curiosity, an urge to investigate and discover the elusive places where we meet nature where she plays on our senses with colours and forms, perfumes and smells, the taste and touch of salty wind on the tongue. But much of nature is hidden from us, that we can neither see nor touch, like the one phenomenon that can be said to move us more than any other in our daily lives. Sound. Sound, harnessed by human beings, delivered with generosity and emotion, is what we call music. In biophilia, you will experience how the three come together. Nature, music, technology. Listen, learn and create. Now, forget the size of the human body. Remember that you're a gateway between the universal and the microscopic, the unseen forces that stir the depths of your innermost being, and nature who embraces you and all there is. We are on the brink of a revolution that will reunite humans with nature through new technological innovation. Until we get there, prepare, explore, Biophilia. And we're looking at transhumanism now as a coming agenda, where they're going to be bringing online a replacement for humans. And we see um, much of that research occurring now in most of the major universities, certainly here in the United States. Uh, but this document here, this NASA plan, uh, talks about uh, robot cyborgs and humans. And we're really starting to see the replacement of humans by machinery. Well, uh, again, um, and I, I'm not being deliberately obstructive, but I'm going to rush to the defense of the industry. Uh, and, I, and I do know, because I've spoken to the scientists, <clears throat> the government approaches an industry and it says, if we can implant uh, and it can be nanotubes, uh, which will be triggered, a chemical will be triggered, or an electrical signal will be triggered with a microwave pulse going to the brain. Or um, you have the, the creatures that live in the oceans that photosynthesize from the sun. Mm -hmm. And when you photosynthesize, like euglena uh, or cocolithopores, lithopores, um, they, they produce minuscule electric currents. <clears throat> now, they can be guided to certain areas of the brain by viruses. And the industries working on these, they really, the paralyzed, get electrical signals going in the body to move limbs and think. And by beaming them with microwaves, you can actually get paralyzed people moving again or people brain damaged people you can get the electric current back into that part of the brain so they are doing an immense amount of good but again as i said earlier the harm comes when the military come along and they say now if we can make these people do this if we put them into these people and we stimulate this part of the brain uh, for instance, uh, a balance between 
the frontal cortex and the amygdala, uh, which will induce severe violence. Uh, you know, so you you can again you can use things for good and they're developed for good, but other people can use them for bad. So uh, again, I can say that because the corporations are there it doesn't mean that they're bad. It means that they they have actually done some incredibly Nobel Prize winning research. That somebody has then said thank you very much. We paid for this, we have the rights to this, now we're going to put our scientists to work. Uh, I also have a question. Have you heard uh, anything about the um, activation of catalytic uh, genetically spliced virus and bacteria? I know you were just mentioning some of this. A vi uh, via bacteria hybrids by the use of advanced targeted um, photo uh, centronics and have there been there have been rumors from insiders for years that psycho um, centronic can also be deployed to reduce a person's natural immunity allowing the opportunist virus and bacteria the ability to gain control when they would normally be suppressed <laughs> I mean, you've you've covered uh, about fifty years of complicated research there. Um, I mean, just any three of those words could spark about an hour's conversation. Um, is it being done? Yes. Can I go into that? No. It, it's it's. I, I can answer it. It is. Far too. We would need to sit here for a week mm -hmm. and not even scratch the surface. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yes, it, it can be done. Are they doing it? I don't know because they haven't told me. Is it possible? Yes, um, but I, I I don't know that they're doing it because if they are doing it, it is in secret, and I don't have access to their secrets. Um, I've never been told by anyone that they're doing it. Theoretically, it can be done. Whether it is being done practically, um, I don't know.
Thank you.